Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got two replays in a very, 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 very fantastic tank in the Stone Cold T1 LPC or TL1 LPC. Yeah, something like that. This is a tank that is very, very good. It's very, very good. Swindle made the statement when he released his tank, Petty, I think you're going to like this. And yeah, we definitely like this tank. I think everybody should like this tank. It's an absolutely fantastic tank. The double shot autoloader that is on this tank is so, so incredibly powerful. Like the standard shotgun is better statistically, except for its DPM, but it doesn't feel any, it just completely changes the way that this tank is with this double shot. This double shot is absolutely amazing and it's probably the only gun that you should use on this tank because it's just so, so strong. Just the fact, it's just how much damage you can deal out to people so quickly. It's great. So we're at one of the, my favourite positions to use on the Sand River, on this little ledge. And that's because of all the shots you're seeing now. And that's the fact we've got so many shots at people that are crossing over and stuff like that. So we've got this T32, we popped two nice shots into him and just like that we've done 567 damage. Now we were unspotted but we were in an obvious, shot, an obvious spot and artillery can see shell tracers. So that artillery clearly knew we were still there and blapped us. So we lost a good 650 health for that, but hey, we get a nice shot into that Lycan. He gets away with it. He looks like he's going to YOLO into another position we can shoot, so we're just aiming up, ready, 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 and we miss because we hit the floor. I mean, that is one thing. The accuracy on this gun isn't great, right? But I don't know what it is. It just never seems to be not fully aimed. Like, when you're turning the tank, turning the turret, it never seems to bloom that much. So you're always pretty much there in terms of aiming the gun. So it doesn't take much time to aim it in general. The double tap is great, though, because, I mean, it's 560 for if you pen both shots. You drop the clip in, like, you know, one second, pretty much, from the first shell. I think the intra clip is one point something seconds. It might not even be quick. It might be one second. I don't know. I can't remember. We'll see now. Yeah, 1.13 second intra clip, which is incredibly quick. And it means that normally people haven't had a chance to blink before they've lost 560 health. Like, normally, if you're in an auto load like this, you do 280 damage to someone. If it's an intra clip of 2.5 seconds, they've got enough time to think, oh crap, I'm being shot. And they might angle enough, say, to like bounce your shot. But with how quick this thing dumps its shells they don't get much time so most of the time you will unless well especially if you're right next to him but you will get 568 damage into people pretty quickly pretty easily and it's it's just it's a thing of beauty this tank it really is it's kind of one of those tanks now that like what the rampanzer used to be back in the day like back when i first started playing this game when I'm having a bad day, not having a great time in terms of play, you know, getting wrecked or dying all the time or just losing. This is one of my crutch tanks. It's one of the tanks that I just go, oh, I can't be bothered. I'm annoyed that I'm losing so much. I'm, I'm just not having good games. I'm not having too much fun generally. I'm like, you know what? I'll take out the Stone Cold. And it never fails to disappoint. It's just one of those tanks. So we've been just bouncing around on Sand River using this middle position to affect damage on the enemy team and um, we've basically cleared the guys that were on the K line because they tried to push down and attack us like the Lycan we also cleared the middle valley as well getting some nice shots about and we're looking for shots now on those guys unfortunately we don't get any shots on them but we're also being wary because we don't want to take a big hit from the ISU 130 now that would hurt and we're put in range of a one shot for most tanks so we're pushing up into the enemy base, we're looking for shots at this A43, he's now realised the trouble he's in, we get two shots into him, but we get shot by the Goranich, unfortunately, which puts us down to 569, I didn't think he'd actually have shots at us there, just because he was down in that dip, but hey, didn't do much to us, the artillery is now YOLO, and we get, I say we get lucky that he didn't shotgun us, but at the same time, He'd have got lucky to have even hit us doing what he was doing. And we're up to 3k damage, 2.4k assistance, because we have been spotting everything up as we've been in the positions. Because that's the other thing. 
as well as the fact that we've been in great positions to shoot everybody we've also been spotting them up for the rest of our team by being in such aggressive positions therefore we're also benefiting from it so there's only two guys left and that's this tiger shark and the Goranich. the tiger shark's not bothered with us he's going we've got this Goranich. we know we can take a hit but if he's fine he's going to bounce off our turret pop one into the cupola two into the cupola pull back and reload again we're probably thinking now that he's, we're not going to get another shot at him because our team's completely surrounding him. <laughs> the Lycan kills himself, which does happen quite often on this map with people doing that. But we do get the kill. We bounce the first shot off his Capola, but the second shot flies in. And it's it's just such a good tank. Like You, you push out damage so, so fast. And the fact that everybody earned this tank means that tier 8 a little bit with these tanks flying about like lunatics can be a bit of a nightmare at times nowadays but th the fact that everyone has this everyone should know just how good this tank is and how much fun it is I mean we've got 1900 base there 4.3k damage 2.5k assistance 23 shots fired 19 hits 18 pens and I'd say the gun handling doesn't even feel that bad like the gun handling with the standard shot or the standard shot the single shot gun felt terrible even though it had better, st better statistics than the double shot but the double shot's just amazing and it never feels that bad. It's great tank. But here we are on Rezanite. And we are platoon with the legend that is the Minto Vinto. And we're on the NA server. And we're going to be having a little bit of fun on this map. For, for those of you that don't know. And I don't know how you wouldn't know. Minto Vinto is the community manager for Wargaming. And he's an absolute legend. It's been a better place. It's definitely been a better place since he's come along and is generally quite an awesome guy he will be streaming tonight and every friday with their regular wargaming stream that he's set up now for which they'll be doing giveaways probably and doing lots of other cool things and showcasing stuff with other cc's and sometimes maybe me who knows but i'll link the wargaming channel down in the description below as well so we're on Rezanite and we've come to the best place to be on this map and that is the castle. We've taken this little dip down here and we're looking for shots at the STA 1. 1, 2 and like that we've done 586 damage. He couldn't really react to that and he got wrecked. So we're now in the reload. These guys are sitting in great positions for us to shoot them. Like the Type 59-2 has decided to YOLO into the middle. Unfortunately, we lead that shot quite badly. That second shot flies in really nicely. And we tracked him up. Minto Vinto is also in the Stone Cold, but it's not the Stone Cold. He's got the unskinned version of the T1 L... T L1 LPC. I will get there eventually. It's just one of those tank names that's a bit long and... Yeah. One of those names. So we're coming around, we're helping Minto out here, we've shut down the STA-1, we're still looking for the Pershing but he's pulled back. We've got one shell left though and the light tanks down here are being a bit pesky and they are behind us. And obviously that's a bit of a worry because if they decide to actually start attacking us then that could be a bit painful. So I'm like, you know what, Minto, I'm going to go attack the light tanks. I'm going to go get rid of these little buggers because they are pestering about behind us and it's a bit of a problem. And he's like, okay, I'll come help in a minute. I've got this trailblazer. I know if I manage to catch this trailblazer with a ram, he's dead. Unfortunately, though, we don't. And we've got now the turtle yellowing about. He's firing heat, though, so he's going to struggle to pen us from the front. Which is quite a nice thing to know, to be fair. So we shut down the tra uh, trailblazer. And then we've just got the turtle. Now we hug him as tightly as possible in the hope that he doesn't pen its heat round, which he doesn't. And now he's running away from us. Minto's come down to help. I'm like, you know what, okay, I'm going, oh, Minto doing some acrobatics. <laughs> and we shut down the turtle. <laughs> Minto comes flying over there, and just because he catches me, that's why he survives. Now we've got the Pershing that's come down to help his light tank friends. He's got two stone cut, or two TL1 LPCs at his front. It's never gonna go well for him with how quickly we can throw damage out. Now we've got this Type 59-2 we shot earlier on that's come down and the start of the madness is here. I'm like, you know what? You ain't staying on these rocks, buddy boy, Jim Bob. Here we go. Crush. 
And that's the end of that little bit of madness. And we've just managed to get rid of four tanks there. And this tank is just so much fun. I, it is ridiculously good. It's such a strong tank. And it is crazy that they gave this out to everyone. It is crazy. I, on PC, this only has a single shotgun, which is the gun, the other version of this gun. And it's kind of a bit mediocre, really. But the fact that they gave it this double tap is just insane. And it's just, it's just too good. And it's definitely worth playing. It's an absolute beast. But now we've got this motherland who's in a bit of trouble. He's been circled by two light tanks which is a bit of a problem so we're going to shut down this LT432, we get a nice tracking shot into him get a nice shot into him again and unfortunately the motherland is burning, now I'm going to get rid of this LT by ramming him and now we've got a problem, we've got the vanguard that's yellowing about and we've got this T25-2 now I decide to ignore the vanguard because I'm thinking while he's on the move he's not going to hit me every time well I'd be wrong he hits me every single shell on the move and the reason we did ignore him and go for this T25-2 is because I knew I could kill the T25-2 with my two shells and get rid of him off of my back unfortunately one of the shells went RNG, we rushed it a little bit and the RNG said ha lol no and we bounced which left us in a bit of an awkward situation but fortunately enough we shut him down and we get the final shell into that Vanguard, but the Vanguard shuts us down. I didn't choose to shoot him because, again, the likelihood of me hitting him with the derpy gun was quite unlikely, and I could shut down the other guy. So, we end that game anyway. The team carries us through, and we get a high caliber ace tanker, devastator, top gun, 1970 base XP, 7 kills, like I say, 4.7k damage, and a generally nice game with the, the legend that is the Minto Vinto. And, like I say, this tank is ridiculous, it's so good, and it's everyone should play it really but at the same time that would break tier 8 matchmaking so don't play it <laughs> so as always everybody thank you very much for watching i'll see you next time